Hi there. In, in series of creating templates to fasten your workflows with digital audio workstations, we will now dive into Cubase to see how to create a template for native instrument machina in Cubase so that next time when you start your project and you want to dive directly into drums without making any audio or MIDI mappings with machina and so on and so forth, you can get going fast with the template. So let's look how it is done in Cubase. Okay, let's look how to create a template to fast access with uh, starting a creating and a creative process. Templates are great so that you don't need to make all the time, you know, routings and settings uh, in order to get started. So it's good to have templates and uh, now we will look how to do templates in Cubase. So Basically, what we will do is we will um, use native instruments, multi-temporal uh, machina too, which is kind of sensible to make and create a template for, so that you don't need to do all the routings and mappings, but then everything uh, works great. So let's see how to do that and um, how to store that template and use it in your new projects. Let's create an empty one. So here we have now an empty canvas and then we go and find an instrument and it, we will go and get machina. Let's drag and drop that into Cubase project. So we have now an empty empty instrument and uh, and 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 in machina we can basically then now go and I'll, I'll just have a template that I have created for for machina so I'll go and open it up so it has some basic patterns and then it has basic routings in place so if I play you can hear the kick now anyway in order to get audio out and MIDI in uh, from your Cubase so and and machina so to link them together you need to do certain se settings in 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 machina first so we need to go uh, not to the plugin section, but then we go into the in input and output configuration. And in output, you need to check out that each and every is uh, pad is is routed to own channel. So you can do it from here, from from audio and send it to external one. You can of course select any channel that you want, but it's in in my case I have felt that it's logical to have it like one goes one two goes two and three goes and, and so on and so forth so so this is what you can do here with this uh, audio routing and, and mapping then when it comes to MIDI uh, then you need to go into input and you go into the MIDI section and uh, here it's default and all but you need to actually select host and one so then the things that are coming from channel one are coming to kick host and two for the snare and host and three to closed hi-hat and of course you can continue this process to to go through all the all the 16 pads that you have in in machina but let's let's basically stop here and then move into into um cubase to save some time um okay let's go into cubase first and uh, first we will do so that we will use the pattern and and not sending midi from but let's see how we can get the audio working in in cubase from the multiple inputs so here in cubase basically what you need to do is you go over here and you need to activate the outputs so in this case you need to activate the ones that we defined over there i defined four but we could basically live in this case with three anyway in order to get all 16 of course you need to go and enable everything or every one of those and then here you can actually then say that this is actually the kick and this is actually the snare and this is actually the closed hi-hat and now basically if I press play over here it will play 
still play the MIDI within within Machina. So if I change the pattern, it will change the pattern. And and this is now all set up. So the audio is coming into and and uh, and then then basically. But now if I don't have any clip selected in Machina, I hear nothing. So what I would need to do in order to get drums, for example, is that I, I need to draw a MIDI region and then I need to go, oh, sorry. Then I need to go into the MIDI region to uh, edit it and, and add the, the kick for, for to the floor, <laughs> so to speak. So. Now I have, have kick selected, but then I will need to add a uh, MIDI track. And this is the snare. And then I will need to add a uh, another track MIDI still for the hi-hat. And now if I go and see here, I can see that this one is basically, yeah, uh, this is Machina 2 and this is basically from Machina to Machina and Channel 2, because this is Channel 1, this is Channel, uh, sorry, this is Channel 2 and this is Channel 3. So it has been now mapping, uh, Cubase has been mapping it automatically uh, correctly for me. So let's draw some uh, regions here for for closed hi-hat and, and, and so on and so forth, so that we can add some snare pattern and then go let's go into the closed hi-hat and add some hi-hat pattern the good thing with this type of a mapping is is that uh, you can actually use pitch when doing it like this and and of course you could do, draw here some velocity curve as well so so now you can utilize the Cubase editor and, and create your pattern in Cubase and then also hear the sound here. this is how it works one thing if and I, I guess you have questions regarding let's go back to the console now you see multiple times like kick snare closed hi-hat snare and closed hi-hat but you can change this so that it doesn't show the midi channels in in your mixer so you can go to the midi channels and then you just basically close that one and now you only see the audio channels And another thing is that when you are here in, in this kick section, you can actually go here and close, uh, sorry, press the arrow to, to see the audio channels in, in, in your, in your um, arrangement view. So, so now you could basically also change the velocity, like the volume and whatever you might have some might have some effects on those and, and, and have those basically also then of course of course the effects you could modify the, the, the you know automation for those in, in 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 this area. So so that's basically it from from connecting and then of course you would need to continue this to do through all the 16 channels to have them individually mapped. One other thing that you can still do here is also that you can add a uh, add a folder and let's name that folder as Machina. And then you can actually place these things into the folder so then it becomes um, easier to maneuver and manage uh, later on. So let's put the kick first and then snare and close. So now if I close this one I can easily then, you know, deal with the individual MIDI channels and then of course I can also go and go and, and, and in here and look on the audio channels. So so this makes things handy and then of course I can I usually I use when I do drums I use that drums are 
are red for in my setup so I use color red for drums and bass so you can go and color color code these as well uh, so that they are they are readily color coded and and uh, in in that respect you are then ready to go um but yeah this is basically this is basically how how you can do things in cubase and 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 have it so let's then store this as a template and complete our activity in that respect so we go and save as a template and then now i can give a new new name for the template and i say for example that uh, Machina Cubase template. Then I say OK. And now the template is saved. So now if I go and close this one, it's still untitled. I haven't saved it, so it's untitled. So I just go and close. No, I don't want to save this project. And then I go a new project. And now I have my Machina Cubase template here. So I take that one and then I say create. And uh, now basically, ooh, what the heck? Ah, okay. I, I don't have those mapped. So it was just kind of funny error, but anyway. Now I can go directly into the creation mode with Machina and start creating my beat and I don't need to do all those mapping and of course when you do that for all of your 16 channels then you are done you do it once and then you can always go into the template and 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 then start from that and no need to do mappings and you save a lot of time and energy in the sense that you can just focus on creating music so that was Cubase and how to do templates, specifically Machina template in Cubase. Next we will go and do it in Reason. So remember to subscribe for the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching. Bye now.